Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox Studio and actually welcome back to another episode of Coloured Solar System. So if you remember last episode I think we did the remastered version of the blue system was it? Yeah it was the blue system and yeah a lot of you guys seem to want me to continue um, doing the um, remastered Coloured Solar System so that is exactly what I'll do. It's red today as you can see and then next we'll be doing green I hope so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah everyone seems to be um, wanting to see more and yeah it's really fun making these and yeah so I'll keep doing them and yeah it's just amazing to use all of the new modded objects that we've got because the red system is actually i don't actually have a save of it when i this is the only save i have of it all of the progress i did in it is gone forever it's still in the video if you want to see it but this is the only thing i saved from it so it kind of sucks but this is all that's left of the original so i thought why not build off what um the original one was like actually so that's what i'm going to be doing today so yeah there we go so red remastered so yeah if we just go in here that's the red system and literally it just opens up this i don't have a save for the red one sadly i never saved it for some reason or i didn't i don't know what happened but anyways let's go into this so we have to search red and we've already got all of the red objects there we also have two gasser reds actually i may put um some of those guys in as well so we, we could make this like a four star system actually we got antares here which is a red super giant we got the um red giant sun there which i've had for a long time mate uh, it's cooled its temperature down to make it look more red as well which looks quite cool um right anyways where should i put the first gaster object let's have it orbiting antares actually so actually no i'll have it further out actually let's put it right on the edge of the disc over there and then the second gasser we'll put where should we pull it uh not entirely sure we'll pull it yeah, we'll put it closer to Antares then. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. So, we've got this star here. And also, you can see their zones as well. So, there we go. Right, first gasser is right here. So, here we go. So, here is gasser red. So, as you can see, it's just a very, very hot gas giant. Which is looking pretty cool, actually, with the two stars there. So, we've got that one. And then the other one over here is gasser red B. Over here, which is just a more red glowing version. It actually looks really cool like that. So yeah, there we go. And um, with the background, I'm definitely going to make the red darker as it is very, very bright. I'm definitely going to turn red. What about that red for now? Just uh, make it a little more. How about that? Yeah, that's looking better. Just slightly more darker because yeah, the other one was a, was a little bright for my taste. So there we go. Zoom out. There we go. So that's yeah, that red's a lot more um, livable. Turn off the ambient brightness. I guess we can uh, make it a little brighter maybe. Not really uh, too new, too much he's doing here. So there we go. She is a little too much dark or oh, black in it, actually. Uh, purple. I want one that covers pretty much the whole screen. Okay, I'll just use this one and then I'll just put it to red. Yeah. Alright, then. Yeah, we are going to want very reds. Which is looking better already. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right, cool. So I'm just going to rotate it a bit. Just so it's red all the way around there. There we go. Background does make a nice addition to these as well. So definitely going to get that done nicely so let's just uh, try and get it exactly the way which I want yeah there we go that's looking good I've got like a darker area there but that's fine it's not really too much of a big deal so you can change the brightnesses if you want to get it slightly different as well but yeah I'm not gonna play too much more other than that so yeah there we are right that's looking good so we can start so you're yeah, just gonna lower the brightness put that to that right cool right so Antares the red giant sun over here then the gasser is very close to it there. All right, awesome. So there we go. Keep orbit mode on as well. Right, so there we are. Right, first um, object to put in here. Now, these are both very, very hot stars. So we're going to um, need to be very careful of where we put any water well, just because these are red giants and stuff after all. So where should we start off first? I guess we can go with some of the um, gas giants, put them slightly closer, have them as hot gas giants. Okay, so the sun doesn't have much impact here. Antares is the dominant object here. Because remember, the sun should only... I think the sun only has one mass of sun. I'm not sure. Yeah, it only has one mass of sun. So it's not going to have a massive um, input compared to the 12.4 suns that the sky has. So, yeah, there we go. My game seems to have um, froze slightly there. That's quite annoying. But anyways, let's continue. So we'll put gas... Uh, or not, not gas red. So we'll put the regular gas giant red. One of the oldest modded objects, actually. Part of the original set of modded gas giants here. Let's go ahead and spawn this in, but yes, it's a shame this didn't exist back when I did the original episode of this, but yeah, looking good. We don't have um, the shadow glitch here for a change, so both of the ob or both sides of the object are lit up. It's actually looking really cool with the red background, the red stars. Nice. So yeah, there we go. Put it on a... Uh... Actually, let's do it like Uranus, actually. So the North Pole can face one star, and then the South Pole can face the other star like that. There we go. It's looking good. So that's gas giant red actually does look really really cool like that i'm liking that right so there we go there is that 
Right, next up, what should we have now? Actually, I'll, go, I'll just go to the whole list of objects, because not all the objects I have red are called red, so what else could we put in here? Got a lot of stuff. Oh, the Blood Moon. We'll definitely have to bring that in. Um, let's see. Any other ones which could be quite interesting to use? Oh, we have a banded object here. Yep, definitely going to use that. Banded 28 here. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Let's have it slightly different, actually. There we are. Right, here it is. So there they are there, looking good. Nice red um, colour on there as well with a slightly lighter, like, cream colour there. So it's looking pretty good there. So there's that one done. And again, as normal, I will just name the planets in letters. So, there we go. So I'm not going to take ages naming the stuff, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me thinking of names for the whole thing. So, there we go. So, yeah, we'll just call it B. Doesn't really matter. Hey, can I put the capital letters on, please? There we go. There we go. Perfect. So, there we go. Right, so we have A, and then B. Awesome. So, now moving on to the next object. We'll go over Rocky object this time so let's just go to the rockies so we'll go over the nice vibrant red here so we'll go ahead and place that in here it's um i want to put it because you're close to the sun so yeah we'll pull it okay so the sun does no it has no effect here so we're gonna put it there click play okay so the sun's taken over okay so we're gonna have to i'm surprised it did that actually it shouldn't from that distance on orbit that one there you go so there we go so it shouldn't have any uh, effect on there. So we can't have many objects much further out than this one then around Antares. So here we go. Right, so here it is. Right, we're definitely going to have to increase the albedo on this guy. And definitely lower that atmosphere, damn. Right, let's go to 180M. Can, can I go to 1, please? No, delete that. 1. Oh, we deleted it. Oh, my numpads, my num lock was off. Whoops. There we go, 1 atmosphere. There we go. So I've got the nice bright red atmosphere on it. We go 200 degrees we'll slow down time we're going very quickly here so there we go got the nice red clouds we'll lower it a bit more just to get it into the venus sort of temperatures and we'll definitely pull it up pull it about to, we'll pull it about to 1.280 yeah why not i guess that should um spice it up a bit there we are and since it's um oh since the stars have moved the um day and night cycle has changed as well actually yeah, yeah i didn't think about that so yeah there we go the red clouds look amazing on it if you um Actually, yeah, I'm going to lower this as well. Make make the red a little darker so the clouds stand out a bit more. There you go. Look at that. So there we are. Slightly darker. Still got a nice red to it, though. Oh, yeah, that's looking really cool, actually. So, yeah, there we go. And then instead of being that, we're going to name it Planet C. So there we go. Looking good. Oh, that, that. I love the red clouds on that. Very, very nice bright red indeed. So there we go. So that's the modded red. But then we'll definitely have to spawn in the regular red as well. So where is it? The regular red is, no, not that one, half, no, I want the full cloudy, yeah, that one, The this is the original red, here, yeah. so this is a red, this is actually the red you can get when you spawn in random objects, the red atmosphere you can occasionally get, this is that atmosphere, but made thicker, so it looks like a Venus right there, looking good, so yeah, we'll do exactly that with this guy, we'll make it a Venus, so, let's put it around the sun as well, as well, here we go. Right. Why did I say as well as well? <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, there we are. So actually, since this is orbiting a different star, I guess we can just call it. We'll, we'll use a lowercase a. There we go. So this is planet A around the smaller star here. So there it is. Right. Pretty dark here, just the way the atmosphere appears with the red sun. But that's it underneath. So there we are. So when you have the atmosphere on, it hides the uh, light from the other side, which is kind of weird. So, yeah, there we are. All right, so we'll just leave it at 180. It's just chilling around 400 degrees. That's um, that's fine. So there we go. So that's all in the sun. C could we have another object closer? Hmm, not sure. Ooh, ooh, I could use one of these glowing objects, which I've had for a while. This one has a bit of orange on it, I know. But it's still, um, if we pull it here, it should appear more red anyway, because the star is it, because the star is so cool. Yeah, see, it looks more red that way, but obviously with the lighter star, you can see the orange on it, but this, the primary colour on this is still red, so that's fine. We can use that. So this will be lowercase a now, and then the other one will be lowercase b. So there we go. Where, where is it? Okay, and we're going to name that b. Perfect. I won't have anything closer to the sun, though, but that's fine. So there we are. That's going to warm up pretty quickly. I'll make it quite a hot gas giant. There we go. So that will start to warm up. So it's a 500. Will it increase from 500? And that does cool down a bit. Okay. So there we are. How far away is this from the sun? Just so, just out of interest. Uh, AAU away. Okay, so that's about 
Jupiter Saturnish distance around around that sort of area. So yeah, there's no inner solar system around this star at all, because this this sun is designed to be about the size of Venus's orbit. I think is I think it is anyway. I'm not sure. I think it's around the size of Venus's orbit in size. But yeah, there we are. So there we all right. Okay, that's looking good. So I'm liking this so far. Okay, we could probably squeeze another planet around the sun. So what should we do with that? We can't. Really, there's not really too many options we can use, other than like gas giants or hot Venus-like objects, because we can't really have a uh, Earth-like Hattle or ice world around here. Let's go with this Prometheus object that someone made. Let's uh, go ahead and place this in. Okay, so should be fine from about here. Okay. Oh no! Don't orbit now. It was orbiting the sun. What are you doing? Come on. Go, there you are. Right. Good. So we go. Right, hopefully that will stay in orbit. Okay. So what does this guy look like if we zoom in on it? Okay, so I think it's a black and red object by the looks of it. It does actually look pretty menacing. 2,000 degrees. Let's quit it to zero quickly just to refresh it. So there we go. Speed it up so we can uh, see it cool down a bit. So I'm assuming it's mainly black and red underneath all those hot clouds, which actually looks really cool. So can they disappear, please? I don't want to get in too hot. Come on. Okay, there you go. So that's what it looks like. So it's a black with red band. Okay, so that's fine. We can use that in the red system. It still has red on it. So there we go. I know black's the main the main colour, but that's yeah, fine. So there we are. All right, looking good. So that will be just be chilling out here. Okay, let's get a lineup of what we've got so far. So here we are. So we've got our two massive stars. Then we could go all the way down here to the gasser objects. We've got two gasses. This thing's pretty big actually. I'll, I'll cut that in half. There we go. Then we'll cut the radius in half as well. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. Then we've got our Uranus-like object here, tilted on its side. We'll uh, make it just a tad bigger, just to make some variation between the sizes. Then we have the banded object, we've got the glowing object, which is quite reflective. Then we've got our two little um, rockies at the bottom here. The Venus I will make into a super earth sort of size, we'll put it about 10,000. There we go, alright, looking good. So there we are. Okay, so there's our inner sort of, I guess you could call that the inner system of the binary stars. But now we're going to move on to the outer stuff, so we can't really have any obje objects orbiting Antares around around this area because the sun will take over so we're gonna have to have it a lot further out where the sun doesn't have any influence so we have to see how that works because the sun could cause massive problems for any for objects further out so we have to be careful and see how they run because it could uh, could mess some stuff up so all right there we go let's go start off with the tomato gas giant this is quite an old one actually so let's place it there okay so let's uh, let it run a bit and hopefully it will uh, stay in orbiting of Antares instead of the sun. Hopefully the sun won't mess around. And we can keep an eye on the other objects as well. So it looks like um, Antares is having a little fun with these guys. So we may have to make these guys a little closer. That will be C lowercase, won't it? Okay, there we go. That's a very loud bike outside. I don't know if anyone can hear that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's lower. Yeah, these needs to be lowered. I don't want Antares messing up. Both the ones orbiting Antares seem pretty fine, but uh, these guys seem to be getting the worst of it. So we're going to lower that. That's way too low. Okay, so we may actually have to move the stuff closer then. So this one here, that's the Venus-like object. Okay, so that will become A again if I do that. And then this one out here, that needs to be lowered as well. I'm going to put that to zero. Okay, so that's in there as well. Okay, so if I click play now. Okay, that seems a little better. Like the orbit there, it, this, it is so red, I can barely see the red line in the orbit. <laughs> but it is there, if you look carefully. So, yeah, there we are. Increase the albedo up. Oh, so that has a, a bit of climate change on it. Okay, that's cool. So, control D, because I think I saw some particles in there. Wow, that is really... I really can barely see that zone. If I turn it off. Yeah, look out. Yeah, you can, I literally cannot see that red line in the orbit. It is just almost invisible. But you can just about see it if we move it. Yeah, you can see there is an orbit there, which is very hard to spot. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this will be A now, lowercase. Then this will be B. And the other one will be C now. Hopefully they'll uh, orbit a little better behave now. Okay, so how are these guys doing? Okay, so those guys are looking fine. Gas are red's looking good. Not too much going on here. Then we have A, B, C. Yeah. All right, cool. So they look all right. Hopefully the sun won't mess with them. I mean, we've got to be careful. Ooh, what's that going on over there? That's dangerously close to the sun, so we're going to have to definitely lower that, this value. There we go. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't think... Nothing's going to mess with its orbit. It's, the sun is the full... Yeah, the sun is fully in control of that. That's not going to 
uh, mess around anytime soon, I don't think. But that is still very, uh, quite dangerously close to the sun there. This is basically what Earth will be like. Um, almost just a very, very hot, barren world close to the red giant sun. So that's sort of like a little representation of future Earth right there. So, yeah, there we go. Right, how's the further stuff doing? Okay, so Marto gas giant's doing alright, but red get well, this second gasser object. The gasser objects always misbehaving, aren't they? So, can we just have that orbit, please? Because that seems a little unstable with the binary system. Antari should still be the biggest presence, though, so hopefully keep an eye on that. Okay, so Marto gas giant is doing alright now. Let's, uh, let's see here. Okay, so they're wobbling, but let's see how they change. So that's all that's changing. Okay, so all of the stuff orbiting them, all the closer stuff, they're pretty much doing all right. A, B, and C, their orbits are changing, but they're still stable. It's fine anyway because they're not really colonized or anything, so it doesn't really matter. They're not really going to have much going on there. So there we go. Hmm, the gasser objects are still a little concerning because they are a very big pain sometimes. I'll move it closer. Okay, that seems to have made things a little better, I think. So, auto orbit at U, then C. Now, since I've moved the gasser closer, I can move these guys slightly closer as well. So, there we go. And C, auto orbit there. We can make it orbit smaller. So, I don't want the sun interfering with these guys. So, how's that doing? Okay, that's looking. Yeah, that's looking more promising, actually. That's looking better. Still a little wobbly, I know, but they seem alright. They are definitely doing better than they were before. But yeah, and again, I will still uh, move it just a tad closer. No, oh, the auto orbit won't say because their orbits will change anyway. That gasser is a very naughty, but it's, it's nice to have them in here, so I don't want to delete it. But yeah, there we are. Okay, so they're looking all right. Right, and the tomato gas giant, where's that? Okay, so that's, so that's orbiting nicely as well. Okay, so looks like we'll have to have some pretty crazy seasons on some of the objects that we place further out. So... There is that, okay. So that has a pretty crazy temperature change on it as well. Right there, okay, so this will be D, capital D, since it's orbiting Antares. A lot further out than where the sun is. So there we go. Right, now I'm going to attempt to do a colonised object. So, yeah, let's go down to the red one. We'll just search. I oh, know, there it is. All right, cool. So that this is going to be extremely difficult to do. But hopefully we can get a colonised object out of this. So our beta needs to go up. ATM we've got to 2. Okay, so 40 degrees now. So it does warm. Does it warm up from zero still? Looks like it does. We're running at over a year at the moment. Damn, this simulation's running pretty quick. So there we go. Zero. Okay, so that warms up nicely to about 40. But we've got to remember, we've got to have it quite high. Because if it gets too far away, it will cool down like crazy. So try and keep it balanced where it can stay mostly water. Like most of the time. Oh, it looks so good with the water and the all red clouds. Let's give it a bit of land. There we go. Nice, like, ruby red land there with the water. Looking good. Not too much it needs changing here. The size, we'll put it to about 6,700, which is Earth like. There we go. Guess it's frozen. Guess it's cooling down. So we're going to have to decrease the albedo a bit. It's warming up again. Frozen glitch is always nice as well. Apparently it's to do with the stupid radius, calculated radius, or the density, is what some people have said, so... Let's just compare it to the Earth quickly, let's just see if this density thing, maybe the density does make a difference. Uh, I've never actually tried this, so... Okay, so the Earth has 5.51, so if we put this to 5.51... Okay, so in theory, we'll literally make it one Earth as well, like that. Okay, so that pretty much is the same as Earth for its stuff there. Radius, calculated radius is off. Okay, so, in, so oh, the density doesn't do anything. I thought it did. I don't know. So I, I've heard people say that the density does affect like the frozen glitch and how it works, but not seen anything here, so yeah, that's a little funny. But yeah, there we go. So I guess we'll just have to do the normal process of uh, doing a bit of this. There you go. And we'll just have to will it, will it? Okay, so it still freezes. Okay, so we'll just have to do the completely reopen the simulation. That's fine. That really looks good, I have to say, though. Damn. So we'll go ahead and save this. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it Red System since this there is no original version. So there we go. Open it up. Go back into it. And hopefully I will stay nice. So if we click play. Oh, and it's still... Fr Aye. Come on, man. That's not cool. So just click that a few times. Save again. 
That's the only strategy I know really to get this working properly, so keep it going. Come on, work, and don't do this to us. Oh, it's still doing it. Ah, oh, that's just. Urgh, that's annoying. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. That's that's a real shame. I mean, even even with doing the strategy of saving it, still doesn't want to have it. I mean, I could try maybe putting the calculated radius on or something. No, that definitely doesn't do anything. It's still, still frozen. Um, some people say this isn't a glitch. I still think it is. I mean, okay, it looks like it's working a little better there, but... Like, it definitely shouldn't be in the game. Like It definitely shouldn't do that. I don't know why they'd program it just to freeze like that. Like I'm pretty sure whatever the frozen glitch is, glitch or not, it shouldn't be in the game. So just, I guess we'll just leave it at that. It's very, very annoying. But yeah, hopefully that's fixed it for now. And that's looking, that is a beautiful looking red world right there. Very nice, very similar to Earth. But this thing's going to have some major climate change if it orbits around too much. It's going to get very wrecked by the... Um, climate or not the climate sorry it's going to get very wrecked by the orbits changing so in theory it could have could see some problems at that world so hmm, that's interesting but we'll leave it for now How, how's the rest of the orbits are they all just still right chilling in here okay that's fine the stuff around the sun is having no issues at all that's all looking good awesome so yeah there we go gas is hanging on at the very edge of the system as well righty all right so moving on now Let's see what else. Okay, the Blood Moon will toss that in. Actually, what a better place to do it than pull it around our most hatable Earthlight world. That makes, that's a good idea. So let's place it there. There we go. So now we have the Blood Moon orbiting our Earth-like object. So pretty much just an Earth and Moon here. Just changed up for the system. Look at that Moon, though. Let's uh, get the correct face facing the planet. There we go. Awesome. And then tidally lock. There we go. So that'll be tidally locked to the Earth object now. So that's looking good. That seems to be spinning quite quick. It's only a few minutes. How quick does this thing rotate? Um, 1.33 hours. Okay, 23.1. 20, Just to make a slight difference to the Earth. But yeah, there we go. And it's got a blood moon. Cool. Actually, let's get a view of the moon from the surface of this guy. So let's uh, land on a bit of these little islands here. All right, here we go. Oh, that looks awesome. So here we go. When we look up. We should see our moon somewhere. There it is. So you can just see it there. If we go on, uh, turn the orbits off. There you go, so studio mode, you can see the blood moon there in the darkness, looking good, awesome. So yeah, there we go, it's that all red moon, very nice, and now moving out, back to the uh, objects. Right, let's go with another um, rocky world, but I'm going to go with a, a very cold world, very far away this one, so let's go with, let's go with a slightly cloudy one, so... Slightly um, slightly thick atmosphere, but not all the way up to Venus levels, so the 0 0.5, the middle one. Okay, a cloudy half, that's what I want. So I'm going to place this one. Could I have it around the gasser, actually? That could be quite interesting. Let's, let's do that, because it'll be, it'll be nice and cool out here. This this object's not really, not really much is going on over here. So on the very edges of the system, this, one, uh, this gas object has one little um, planet orbiting it right here. So here we go, so there we go, right, good, 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 right, we're going to freeze that guy up, because there's no way this is going to, that's going to cool down from 20 immediately, oh, it's warming up, no, yep, got to remove that ATM, so we'll go with 1.1, it should cool it down, it's definitely not enough ATM to keep this guy going, so there we are, got the big gas object there as well, but that's only a brown dwarf, doesn't really release any heat to warm this guy up, so sadly this thing will cool down, and be very very cold so let's uh, let's just go with minus uh, 50 see if it continues getting cold or not that should freeze it up for us underneath it's very dark here as well we are quite far away that's what it looks like so speed it up because that should freeze for us there you go it's nice and frozen right good so it seems like it sometimes frozen glitch activates when it goes below zero degrees is what i'm getting sometimes because that seems to freeze just instantly without even going through the different stages of how it freezes so looks a little funny there so let's go ahead and remove it just a, just a bit there we go so it's, yeah that that's what it should look like not just completely shiny you see like that it went straight to like that it's really weird but yeah there we go doesn't really matter just an all frozen word world just chilling out here in the very far reaches of the system orbiting the gas air. so yeah there we are we'll make this guy quite small as well that's half its size and mass there we go 
So quite a small little guy here, but yeah, just orbiting that brown dwarf red object. It isn't really doing anything. So there we are. Very, very far away from everything. There we go. Right. Moving on to the next object. We'll go ahead maroon. Let's go ahead and uh, place one of those in here. The maroon red. Another gas giant. They don't cause any harm to have extra ones. We'll go ahead the dark red as well. We'll go ahead and place that in up here. Looking good. All right. Nice. Any more reds I could use? Going through them all right now. Anything? Let's see here. We'll use a good amount of the red ones I have. There we are. We could use a new Korot 7B, actually, we're using the size comparison. Let's go ahead and throw that in. There we go. That, that'd be quite a hot object, so what could we for that? Hmm. Yeah, we could have it orbiting somewhere closer. No, no, I want to... Let's have it... That's the sun. Okay, so have it... Let's have it further out of the Samato gas. We'll put it there. So this one's the one with the crazy cloud. But yeah, we'll just put a massive atmosphere on it, and it should keep it warm. So here it is here. It looks very, very nice. All red there, looking good. So it's got 1.68. Okay, so we're going to put that to 10. Needs to keep it warm. Going to warm up, please. Warm up. Don't cool down. No, you don't want to cool down. 50. There you go. Warming up for us. There we are. Oh, look at the menacing look that thing has. I mean, damn. That is a very crazy looking object with the way it works. So, yeah, there we go. Looking very fine indeed. So if we look underneath, there it is there. So it's, look at all the clouds this thing has, it is crazy. So it's just dark underneath, but the clouds is where it gets all of its features from. And look how menacing and red and evil it looks. Very, very uh, good looking. So there we go. Colours, what else do you put it to white? Is it? Can you even see it? Oh, you can. Okay. So you can actually sort of customise how this thing looks, or you can really make it look different. So I've got a bit of, a bit of red in there, just to give it a slightly more red to it. There we go. There we are. So that's looking pretty cool. Doesn't really do too much, but yeah, there it is there. 500 degrees. Very, very menacing looking. Very, very cool. So there we go. And the red color, or the main color on that is red, so that's fine. All right, looking good. And then we can go with one of my Pascal objects as well. Let's place that in somewhere. So looking good. Sort of similar to ours, so this is some of like one far object orbiting out there as well. Let's go ahead and place this one a little uh, closer there. Right, so Court 3B. Okay, so where are the names of these things? We haven't... Okay, so this is D. Okay, so this now needs to be E. No, I want to keep turning my capital letters off. Right, E. Then we have F. Um, the next one will be G. So, is it... I think this, this one will be G. H will be this one. So, H. And then I. Okay, there we go. And then, yeah, Gasser, that doesn't really need changing, so we'll just keep it as Gasser Red B. Right, there we go. Alright, E, D, H, I want to go to, there we go. This thing's cooling down, that's not what we want. The atmosphere on that is not enough. 2 ATM, hopefully that'll warm it up. Okay, so it's warming up, hopefully it won't freeze and cause the stupid glitch. So, oh, uh, yeah, even when it warms up, yeah. damn it. Just a Leave it like that. Come on, that's not too bad. Just get the water back the way it should be. Lower it. We'll go ahead and save again anyway. There we go. Like so. Reopen the simulation. Like that. Right, there we go. So, if we slow it down, click play. Alright, cool. It looks like it's uh, got it working again. Increase the albedo a bit. Actually, no, I'll keep it warm. I'll keep this quite a hot, a hot ocean world. There we are. So there we go. Liking the way that looks. More dark red to it. So 49 degrees. Give it a rotate up as well. Make it look a little different. So that's H. Right, awesome. So yeah, there we go, guys. I think that does it for the uh, remastered red system. So I can definitely say, from what I remember, a lot more red objects than there used to be. Because back in the day, modded objects, like I said, they didn't exist. So yeah, we just had to deal with what we got. So now with modded objects, we can have a whole lot more stuff to do. So we've got our gasses, we've got the um, big gas giant, we've got some regular gas giants as well in here looking good. Then we've got our rocky planets down at the bottom here. So yeah, guys, let me know uh, what you think of the red updated system. And yeah, stay tuned for the green one, which I'll be doing next, because that is one I definitely really, really, really want to do. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. And yeah, let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, let's see if we can go for... Um, no, 30 likes on this video as well, guys. Also, um, 
leave a comment as well subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers and yeah massive thank you to everyone who has watched my size comparison videos that video is doing really really well and yeah guys massive thanks again and yeah that's everything i need to say so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye